This ends tonight. All of it. Jason, I don't want to fight you. Please, I can help you. I know what happened. You're ruling through intimidation and murder. You're just another criminal. I Maybe so, but let's see how you do without your toys. <laughs> Enough! It's over! You say you want to be better than me, but it won't happen. Not like this! I know I failed you, but I tried to save you, Jason. I'm... I'm trying to save you now. Metahumans are being treated as the next exploitable resource by first world countries, third world countries, rogue nations, corporations. It's a global pandemic. We have to assume he's working behind the scenes to turn other nations against us. Perhaps it's time to acknowledge that the League has outlived its usefulness on Earth. No, I don't. And I'm offering an alternative. It. Past tense. But all that matters is the mission. And if the UN's a roadblock to that mission, then we remove it by removing the League. I'm sorry, but I hereby tender my resignation to the Justice League. It's time. Join us, Jeff. I think we want the same things. It began with Oracle, who sorted her way through LexCorp shell companies to find the Dublin factory. So the six of us devised a plan. Oracle posted the blurred monkey image on the Outsider's feed, I posed as the distraught Matthew Malone. Those were damaged bots, salvaged from Ivo's last base by Robin, who repaired, reprogrammed, and operated them via remote control. Among others? No. Lex will know this was a setup. But knowing and proving are two different things. This is a war, Diana. And Mrs. Gordon, don't be alarmed. I need to talk to your husband. Is he home? Did a woman come here looking for him? Where is he? Don't be alarmed. I'm on your side, Commissioner. I mean to rid Gotham of the Ripper. Your men don't search too hard for me. I'm betting that comes from the top down. Ripper is far worse than the lunatic you're searching for. I saw your work on your wife. I paid Houdini $300 for that trick. Fight's over. Time to go. If we don't act now, no, stay here. Just watch that warehouse until I return. But- Jason, for once, please listen to me. Don't go after Joker alone. He's just too dangerous. You read me? Never missing a chance to gain a psychological advantage, Jason chose Crime Alley as our meeting place, where I lost my father and mother to a murderer. Where I gained a son. Jason wanted it all to end that night. But I was going to save my son. Or die trying. We could have fought all night. But no blow would land as hard as the one I felt when he finally removed the helmet. That moment, I was just a father again. I didn't want to fight anymore. I begged him to stop. To let me help. But he wasn't done. So neither was I. It was always a contest with Jason, him against the world. Even dying didn't teach him he was wrong. There was no more reasoning, no more holding back. He wanted pain, I was ready to unleash it. Ready to drag that kid through fire, through hell and back. To show him once and for all his contest wasn't with the world, it was with himself. And then he finally got the moment he'd been planning for five years. Jason said he'd forgiven me for not saving him that night in Bosnia, but that I didn't avenge his death afterward, that I didn't kill Joker for killing him, was a betrayal he could not live with. So he crafted his final challenge for me. He wanted to look me in the eye while forcing me to make a choice between our ideals. Kill Joker, or kill Jason to stop him from killing Joker. But life isn't a game, and death is never a choice. To make it so is our undoing. It would be my undoing. I think about killing Joker every day, ending the monster that I let loose on the world. But I'll never allow myself that release, a promise I made to my father and mother. An example to a son that I will never stop fighting to protect from himself. I can never stop fighting to protect them from themselves. Protect them from me.